Hello and welcome to Green Hat Red Beard Adventures. This video is going to be about my slingshot kit version 2.0. Now, the, for those of you who have seen the original video about this version 1.0, it's uh, basically there's going to be some major, well, not major league differences, but there are some, you know, pretty decent differences between that original kit and my new one here. Um, before I get into it, though, I always try to give credit where credit is due. So the full entire slingshot feel kit in the Altoids tin idea that came from a YouTube channel called Can Vandal. That's Can, C-A-N, Vandal, V-A-N-D-A-L. Uh, he's on YouTube and on Instagram. Check him out. And it's all about slingshots for him. So that's where the credit is due for him. Now this kit here is my version 2.0. The major differences between the two kits is that uh, my original one had the slingshot ammo. It had a coin for the uh, f fast uh, clips on my slingshot for tightening the bands up and down. Also had two band sets, which were uh, basically not like your standard band sets, but basically is the pouch a looped around and tied off. So it's basically I can use it like a frameless style slingshot with flat bands, as opposed to the two bands that I normally carry around on my wrist. And then, of course, there was the uh, the old tie-offs as well as that. So basically, those bands I can take if I wanted it to attach to a slingshot. I would have to stretch them out, make them even, snip it off, and then I can attach it onto the frame slingshot like I normally would any other slingshot. So this version is different. It's a bit smaller, and it's also a little bit uh, more simple. And it's basically just like a to the straight to the point type of thing. So. Uh, of course, I got an elastic band on here. Just in case. If there is ammo in here, and I don't want this popping open, so I put an elastic band around it. Elastic bands themselves can be used as a temporary tie-off to tie off your bands to your slingshot. So I'm going to have to move the camera to give you a close-up of this because I can't tilt it forward because of the fact that there's ammo in here. So there's your close-up view. Whoops. Even with a close-up, I managed to drop my ammo. So... In there is the steel shot ammo, as you can see, in a small little plastic bag. That's a one band set, pre-made band set, not a looped band set like I explained before, but an actual straightforward band set. And there's also some uh, tie-off uh, ties in there as well for tying the slingshot uh, bands to the frame. And there's also some paper clips in there. And the paper clips are basically meant for helping you assist with the uh, tie off of the uh, tying the bands onto the frame when you gotta tie it off in the last second there. Basically, let's set the camera down. I'll show you what I mean. This is one of my slingshots I finished making about a month ago. So after you wrap the uh, tie off around and around and around, and then it comes time to, you know, basically overlap it to the point of where it uh, doesn't come loose to finish it off. I use a paper clip instead of my thumb because most uh, most uh, uh, simple shot fowlers, most of these companies will show you to take your thumb, put it over top, wrap it around your thumb, and then slip it under your thumb and just pull it through and that will tie it off. I've had a lot of, um, I can do it just fine, but I find it tricky sometimes. I can't, sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. But the paper clip trick, it actually helps it so makes it so much more easier. And it's also in the fact of the general in fact of the matter is that also you can tie it so much more tighter this way as well. So that way it stays on in place so much more better and so much more easier. So where's that shot I dropped? There you are. I use a 3 8 ammo, by the way. So open that up let's put that back come on out there you go so this is a band set this one's a pre-made band set from uh, simple shot this was a spare band set that came with one of my slingshots i think it was the sparrow slingshot it came with i'm not 100 percent sure on that but uh, it's basically just a standard latex uh material with the standard pouch from simple shot and it works just fine and i keep it in this kit so here's the um Come on, out you come. I'm trying to get the paper clips. Just the paper clips. Okay, there we go. Somewhat. Let's close that off. So, your paper clip, it looks like this. I opened it up a little bit. 
So basically how this is gonna work is that you play, when you're tying off your band set, say if it's this one right here, I would lay my bands, the uh, paper clip over top, just like that. And then the last uh, two wraps, I'll go around the paper clip twice. And then I'll slip the access through the paper clip, tighten it off, and then simply just pull it through. And it makes it so much more easier this way, especially when you're out in the field. It just makes it so much more faster, so much more easier, and you can tie it so much more tighter this way as well. And again, I always, like I said, I try to give credit where credit is due, and this is also from an idea from Can Vandal as well. So, as I said, check out, check out his YouTube channel and his Instagram. It's all about slingshots, so you learn quite a bit from him. It's amazing how much uh, he, <clears throat> excuse me, he's all about slingshots, and he knows his stuff. Trust me on that. He knows what he's talking about. He knows a lot of trips tricks and everything else of how to do it so check them out as well so, and in here is probably around i don't usually count it but i'm going to guess somewhere in the general range around 25 maybe 30 shots of ammo in here <clears throat> i don't want to open this up but uh basically it's just a miniature uh, plastic bag inside of there you get your one uh, band set that's rolled up and then you got some a little bit of ties in there for tying the band set to the frame. And that's basically what it is that's in this little bag. <clears throat> and it fits in here really nicely, close it off. And I, when you're making these kits, and if, especially if you're gonna put ammo in here, I highly recommend getting an elastic band, maybe even two, and just wrapping it around just like that to prevent it from opening up in your bag or in your pocket, wherever you plan to keep it. And I always carry at least one of these kits in almost every single one of my backpacks that I carry with me because the reason for this kit is that there's a couple reasons actually. Um, now, personally, when it comes to making slingshots, I love making slingshots, by the way. And I do not go out without a band set pre-attached to my slingshot. You know, I won't walk out with just the frame with no band set attached. I'll always have one attached. However, there are times and odd occasions when you're shooting your slingshots, you do get what's called that frame hit, where the shot will hit the frame and bounce off and go off wherever. Sometimes, most times when I notice that, they'll have some form of damage to the bands. Most times I notice the, band, the damage will be up here closer to the pouch. On odd occasion, it'll be down here. You'll see, obviously, the little dent that they made on the frame itself, but there will be some damp form of damage to the band set itself maybe some sort of a small hole or tear or something of the sort. So that's another reason why I carry one of these kits around. So that way I still want to have fun with the slingshot, but it's damaged. I don't want to be in a position of where I draw it back. It snaps, slaps me in the face and it's, you know, it hurts and it sucks. So that being said, I can take this band set off and replace it with the band set that I have in my little field kit. And then I can continue shooting and having more fun. So, and the other purpose is, is just in general, is uh, making a slingshot out in the woods. I come out here sometimes, I'll bring out my small saw, saw with me, I'll find an all-natural fork, I'll carve it with my knife a little bit, clean it up, and then I can, which case, in which case I can pull out my little field kit, attach a band set onto it, got some ammo in there, and I can have myself some fun. And if even then, like I can use this as a target too. I try not to use it as a target, but you know, it can make, make a makeshift target because of the red on there. You just put it on the ground or on a tree, open it up in a sort of like an A style frame. You just sit it on a branch, on a lump of uh, wood or something like that. And it makes a nice target as well. I don't generally do that because I usually carry a target with me, but the possibilities are right out there. So try it out for yourself. You can see what you can come up with, my, what you can accomplish and see what, uh, how much fun you can have with sorry i got the hiccups now and to see how much fun you can have with it so i'm out here with my two handmade uh, slingshots i also have another one at home that's in the process of uh i got some varnish put on it and i'm waiting for it to dry before i can attach a band set so lots of fun this is green hats i'm sorry hiccups this is green hat green hat red beard adventures stay safe have fun